Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about two concepts. The first one is categorization error. You might also hear this as categorization bias, category bias, or category error. They're all the same thing. The second thing we're going to talk about is meaningfulness and how meaningfulness can be affected by categorization error. Now, this is a very important concept to grasp, especially in social sciences such as psychology and sociology, and also in theology. The reason why is because if you're trying to glean information from a proper examination of a population and you miscategorize this population, the information that you derive from your data can be very skewed and lead you to the wrong conclusions. Now, I have a very simple graph that I have made for you all. This is the binary definition of atheism. It's often used by people to simplify what an atheist is by saying that it is the opposite of what a theist is. Now you can see on this graph it adds to 100% of the population. 84% of the population is a theist and 16% is atheist. This would be a pretty accurate representation of the United States if you were to apply a binary definition of atheism. Now to come to this definition of atheism you have to include certain subsets of people that might not call themselves atheists, such as Buddhists, Deists, Taoists, Native American pantheists, agnostics, and apatheists. All of these must be wrapped up in this atheism here to come to this binary set. Now, the problem in this kind of definition of what an atheist and a theist is is when you try to apply it to other problems that you're trying to tackle, such as people who have a fight against, say, faith. Anyone with a stated fight against faith that wants to add to their ranks by adding all of those different categories of people to atheism, and then seeks to draw upon this category in order to bolster the ranks of the people willing to fight for her cause, is going to find that many of these atheists actually have faith-based systems that they believe in. Also, on the other side, in the theist column, there are anti-fideists, such as a large swath of the Catholic population that believe that God can actually be known through natural sciences. These people do not use faith-based systems to come to their realization of God. So, if you're going to use the binary definition of atheism, is it meaningful when you're trying to figure out who is going to help you in a fight against faith? 